Thanks to platforms like Netflix, binge-watching a series has never been easier. And while watching familiar favorites and classy comedy shows is always fun, there's nothing like watching a good show with a complex plot, interesting characters, and theories that will potentially blow your mind. They come in all shapes and sizes, from satires and dramas to psychological thrillers, and they will all leave you with a lasting impression. Get your snacks ready, sit back, and relax as we give you 10 mind-bending TV shows to watch on Netflix. Created by Joe Penhall, the Netflix crime thriller series Mindhunter is based on the 1995 true crime book Mindhunter Inside the FBI's Elite Serial Crime Unit by John E. Douglas and Mark Olshaker. The series takes you back to the late 1970s and the founding of the Behavioral Science Unit in the FBI and the beginnings of criminal profiling. Based on a true story, Mindhunters follows FBI agents Holden Ford and Bill Tench and psychologist Wendy Carr who initiated a research project that saw them interview imprisoned serial killers to understand their psychology in hopes of using this knowledge to solve ongoing and future cases by profiling potential killers. The series is as chilling and unsettling as it is cinematically pleasing and gripping, paying a lot of attention to character development and delving into the psyche of some of the most notorious serial killers, Mindhunters was named among the best shows of 2017. Unfortunately, only two seasons of the series have been released so far, with a potential third season put on indefinite hold, as producer, director, and de facto showrunner David Fincher is busy pursuing other projects. Created and executive produced by Britt Marling and Zal Betmanglidge for Netflix, The OA is an American drama series with the themes of science fiction, mystery, supernatural, and fantasy elements. The series follows a formerly blind young woman named Prairie Johnson who reappears after having been missing for seven years. She now calls herself The OA, and people aren't only shocked by her reappearance, but also by the fact that she mysteriously is able to see. The show was conceptualized as a five-part series told in five seasons, but was cancelled after just two seasons, leaving fans with a cliffhanger ending. While some found it rather confusing, others praised the series for its visuals as well as its directing and acting. It's definitely a show that will require your full attention, and it speaks for itself when a show manages to build up such an impressive fan base despite its short run. So it isn't surprising that the OA has become somewhat of a cult classic. The premise of the Australian supernatural mystery show Glitch is mind-bendy enough to get you hooked instantly. Seven people rise from the dead in perfect health, but with no memory and no one can explain why. Over the course of three seasons, James Hayes, a small-town policeman in the fictional town of Urana, Victoria, tries to unravel the mystery behind this strange event. Created by Tony Aries and Louise Fox, Glitch first aired on ABC in July 2015 and concluded in September 2019 after three seasons. It won several awards in Australia, including the AACTA Awards for Best Television Drama and Best Original Score in Television. And while the first two seasons are definitely binge-worthy, critics and viewers agreed that the series slightly dropped the ball in the third season. The Sinner was originally envisioned as an eight-part miniseries, but the response after its premiere in August 2017 was so positive that the USA Network decided to turn it into an anthology series. A second season was released in 2018 and a third in 2020, while a fourth season is set to premiere on October 13th, 2021. The show is named after Petra Hammersfar's 1999 novel, which is the basis for the first season. It stars Bill Pullman as Detective Harry Ambrose, who is the only actor to appear in every season, with the rest of the cast changing for each season's story. Through Ambrose, the series investigates crimes committed by ordinary people and tries to get the basis of their motivations. The first season stars Jessica Biel as Cora Tonetti, a young mother who's committed a violent crime that she has no memory of, while the second season centers around a young boy who confesses to poisoning a couple, and the third season investigates a fatal car accident. Thanks to its writing, talented cast, and unpredictability, The Sinner will grip you instantly and won't let you go until you finish the story, so you better make sure you have a few hours when starting a new season. Based on the 2002 novel of the same title by English author Richard K. Morgan, Altered Carbon was adapted as a television series for Netflix by Alita Caligridis. The cyberpunk series premiered in 2018 and explores the idea of being able to transfer consciousness to different bodies. It takes place over 360 years into the future and follows Takesha Kovacs, a former soldier turned investigator who's released from prison in a new body to solve a murder and thus earn his freedom. Despite receiving generally favorable reviews, the series was cancelled after just two seasons, because like so many other sci-fi series, it just didn't draw enough viewers to cover the production cost. 
First released in 2018 and now about to go into its third season, You begins pleasantly enough before quickly starting to give you the creeps. The first season is based on Caroline Kepney's novel by the same name and begins with a friendly first encounter between bookstore manager Joe and his customer Guinevere Beck to whom he takes an instant liking. However, things soon take a dark turn when Joe's attraction turns into extreme obsession and jealousy, as he will stop at nothing to remove obstacles seemingly in the way of their romance. The show thus sheds a different light on certain rom-com stereotypes and uncovers how his antisocial behaviors undermine most of Joe's romantic endeavors, with the second season diving even deeper into the themes of violence and obsession. Starring former Gossip Girl Penn Badgley as Joe Goldberg, this series will not only have you on the edge of your seat, but according to Joshua Rivera of The Verge, you frequently suffer whiplash for liking Joe as he goes from charming book nerd to sardonic lead to super creep in the same shot. Set in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana in the 1980s, the first season of Stranger Things focuses on the investigation into the disappearance of young Will Byers in the fall of 1983, during which his friends discover a secret government research lab, a portal to an alternate dimension called the Upside Down, and a psychokinetic girl named Eleven. Soon, the entire town becomes engulfed in a mystery involving secret experiments and terrifying supernatural forces as monsters like the Mind Flayer and the Demogorgon terrorize the good citizens of Hawkins, and both the US and Soviet Union try to control the portal to the Upside Down. The series premiered in 2016 and became an instant hit with viewers and critics alike. It's attracted a record viewership on Netflix and has a broad and international fan base due to its inspiration from the best of the 1980s horror and fantasy films, as well as strange experiments that took place during the Cold War and real-world conspiracy theories involving secret government experience in Montauk, New York. After its release in June 2015, the sci-fi series Sense8 quickly became a hit with both viewers and critics. Created by the Wachowski siblings, who were famous for creating the Matrix franchise, and J. Michael Straczynski, who created the cult series Babylon 5, this series follows a diverse group of eight strangers from different parts of the world who discover that they are sense-eights, meaning they share a mental and emotional connection and can telepathically experience each other's realities, communicating with each other regardless of the distance or cultural differences between them. Sense8 explores different issues such as sexuality, identity, gender, and politics, among others, with the underlying theme being empathy across any kind of borders. The series only ran for two seasons, with the second season ending with a cliffhanger in anticipation of a third, but due to the high production cost, Netflix decided to cancel Sense8, explaining that the audience just wasn't big enough to support the cost. This led to an uproar among fans who created online petitions, called Netflix, and posted on social media in an attempt to bring back the series. Less than a month later, it was announced that a two-and-a-half-hour series finale would be produced, which luckily brought another one of the Wachowski's ambitious and mind-blowing projects to a satisfying ending. Perhaps the most famous anthology series on Netflix, Black Mirror was created by Charlie Brooker, who also wrote the majority of episodes. Set in a dystopian near future, each episode presents a different story, exploring a variety of genres but predominantly revolving around some kind of science fiction technology. The show is inspired by the 1950s series The Twilight Zone and uses speculative fiction with dark and often satirical themes to comment on contemporary issues in modern society. Black Mirror presents a great variety of styles and stories, from future dystopias and psychological horror to romance and even space opera, so it isn't surprising that the series has often been called the best TV show of the 2010s. It is definitely a must-watch series on Netflix for anyone who's looking to have their mind bent. Five seasons have been released so far, and even though a sixth season might happen at some point in the future, Charlie Brooker is currently working on other projects. In an interview with Radio Times in May 2020, he questioned whether a sixth season of Black Mirror would suit the public mood, revealing that he'd been working on more comedic projects. Dark has often been called the German Stranger Things, but this creepy science fiction series doesn't actually have much in common with Stranger Things and is unsettling in a completely different way. First released in 2017, the series is a time travel thriller about four families that are deeply interconnected. Over time, the characters living in the fictional town of Winden, Germany unravel an ominous time travel conspiracy that spans several generations. The series is one of the most mind-bending shows ever, as it redefines the genre of time traveling and explores the possible outcomes of messing with the space-time continuum in the most thrilling and spine-tingling ways. The show's complex narrative and unexpected plot twists will leave you completely lost and confused at times, but if you like to be challenged in more ways than one, Dark is an absolute must-watch. The series ran for three seasons, with the third and final season being released in 2020, so you can get right into it and watch it all the way till the end. 
So, do you agree with our list? Which show did we miss? Leave a comment down below and let us know which mind-altering topic you'd like us to cover next. Be sure to comment down below and let us know if we've missed something. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to never miss an upload. Thank you very much for watching.